Hello there, uh, just another quick little video that I wanted to add a little bit of a supplementary one to what we talked about this afternoon, this evening. So you will have seen that I showed off the Cobblestone Castings 10mm miniatures as alternatives for you to use in your games. And I thought I would just show off the miniatures that I painted up because I picked up this set not long ago and absolutely loved it. So here we have... Uh, Frodo and Sam painted up in green and blue because I thought that worked really nicely for them. They are all mounted on one penny pieces <laughs> and the flock has been done to represent sort of like a tundra style base. So it has like a snow ash flock underneath followed by a little bit of static grass. So that is Frodo and Sam. Following on from that, we also have Merry and Pippin, looking rather cool and dashing. Um, I think I went with this one as Merry. No, this one is Pippin, and this one is Merry, I think. Because Pippin always seemed a little bit more serious to me in the books, I mean the films. So that's what I've gone for there. All of them have their elven cloaks on, although you can see that, uh, well... Most of them have the oven cloaks on, although of course there's a little tiny bag on the back there as well. Uh, and the reason that I really enjoyed these was that they were really super easy to paint. You wouldn't have thought it, I guess, but um, you get on the base paints and you're just really nice and neat and tidy with them. And then you just uh, use washes and a little bit of highlighting and away you go. You're back to normal. So that was my two little sets of hobbits. I guess we should show off the main man himself. Here is Gandalf the Grey. Again, really, I think this was the first model of the set that I painted and I really enjoyed it. Again, really nice and easy to paint. Just get some greys and stuff out. And away you go, really. Greys, a normal oil wash to bring out all the details. And then touch up some of the extra bits and pieces with highlighting with just good block highlighting really, so using the original colours. Got Glamdring to his side, and then his staff in the other. All sort of emphasised and pop, made poppy with the uh, use of bonus sort of updated sculpting skills here and there, but uh, yeah, look very nice. Alongside him we have the other mighty warrior, we have Aragorn. So I chose this version rather than the one with the bow. Because I thought this one looked really cool and had a kind of stridery vibe going on. So again, nice and simple. With his ranger sword. Or could even be Anduril, raised in one hand. Although not broken, so it has been reforged at this point. Um, looking really awesome. And again, fun little stance for him. Sticking with the men. We have Boromir, so there's his horn, the horn of Gondor, and there he is with his mighty two-handed sword, and beard and flowing hair, and of course his shield, he can never forget his shield, because otherwise he gets shot by orcs. I did the other miniature as uh, Boromir to begin with, but I think I've come back and found a nice middle ground with this chap. I had fun painting him, which is really nice. Then we have the dynamic duo themselves. We have Legolas and Gimli. So here's Legolas Greenleaf. Bow at the ready. After having just loosed a shot, no doubt, to take someone out. In bright green there. With his big elven cloak flowing behind him. Blonde locks. Although I should really have painted him with brown hair because that's how he should. That's the kind of hair he should have. But there you go. Tying it in a little bit more with the movie version. <laughs> yeah, looking very nice. Well, that's finished off with the very tiny and hard to show off Gimli Gloinson. So there's Gimli there. I like this one again because it had that slightly more traveller, travelling dwarf style feel going on. I thought it was quite nice. Um, so this is them almost when they set off from Rivendell as the company. With his big flowing beard and his big axe at the ready. 
And the camera's actually doing, but it was doing a really nice job until this point. So yeah, good fun painting those. You notice notice I've got some bits and pieces in the background. So I am actually also working on some models for journeys in Middle Earth. Uh, so there's the Gimli that's in the process of being painted. It needs to be worked on very soon. There's the Legolas. Almost as a match to the ones we've just seen before. So give you an idea of scale between 28 or 32 and 10 mil. That's the size and scale of the miniatures. <laughs> so they are much more tiny than you would think. Um, then we have, uh, I, can't, I think it's Eleanor and Berevor. Uh The two other female characters that need painted up for that, just in case people pick them instead. And then I have a whole bunch of extra stuff to paint up as well. So I've got my Orc Brooders. I even picked up the Hero at the Villains pack. So I've got the Villain miniatures as well to paint up for use in the campaign, which will be really cool. Can't wait to get started on those. These are going to be a treat for when I've painted the rest of the core box. <laughs> so many to do. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. I hope that was a really fun little look at uh, some cool Middle Earth miniatures in 10 mil, Just showing off how you can paint them and what they look like. Nice and easy, simple and easy to do, fun as well. So yeah, have fun with that one. Uh, let me know if you've done some painting in this scale before as well. I would really love to do like a really small scale Balin's tomb. So I would take these, find the miniatures to work out the rest of the, the, the troops that you'd want, and then play like a really small miniature Balin's tomb. I think that could be really good fun. Um, Maybe I'll see if I can get some foam together and give that a shot. Uh, but yeah, hope you like the look of these miniatures. I had fun painting these a little while ago. Just wanted to show off what the actual quality of the 10 mil sculpts actually was, really. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with another video very soon. Uh, as I say, loving a little bit of Middle Earth at the moment, and I know a lot of other people are as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Bye for now.